Tech Without Fear back again after a small break. Today we'll be covering touchscreens. We use them all day on almost every device, but some touchscreens are good and some are bad. On this episode of Tech Without Fear, we'll be discussing the different type of touchscreens and how they work. There are two main types of touchscreens that we use today, resistive and capacitive, both with their own advantages and disadvantages. First, we'll cover the resistive touchscreen. These are most commonly seen on ATMs and supermarkets where you sign with a small pen. These screens are known as resistive because they literally resist your touch. If you press on them, you'll actually feel the screen bend under your finger. These screens actually depend on this to work. The screen has two electrically conductive layers that bend to touch one another. One of these layers is resistive and the other is conductive, separated by a gap of tiny dots called spacers, which keep the two layers apart. Finally, there is a thin scratch resistant layer on top. An electric current is running through these layers all the time, and when your finger hits the screen, the electrical current is disrupted. The software recognizes this change at the specific coordinates and carries out a function. Resistive touchscreens are more durable and consistent, and they're extremely cheap compared to capacitive touchscreens. They're harder to read because of their reflectivity and can only handle one touch at a time, ruling out any gestures. The next type of touchscreen we'll be discussing is the capacitive touchscreen. This screen is what you find on your smartphones and tablets. This is the more high-end touchscreen that uses a glass coating. Capacitive touchscreens do not use the pressure of your finger to create a change in the flow of electricity. Instead, they work with anything that conducts electrical charge, which in our case is human skin. Capacitive touchscreens are constructed from materials like copper or indium tin oxide, which can store electrical charges in a grid of tiny wires, each smaller than a human hair. Even in capacitive touch, there are two types of screen, surface and projective. Surface capacitive screens use sensors at the corner and a thinly evenly distributed film across the surface of a screen while projective capacitive uses a grid of rows and columns with a separate chip for sensing. Both screens work with the same principle. When a conductive item touches the screen, a tiny electrical charge is transferred to the object to complete the circuit, creating a voltage drop on that point in the screen. Softwares process the location of this drop in voltage and order an action. Capacitive screens are able to perform multi-touch, look better, and are much more accurate to use. However, they are far more expensive, and thus they are not used in many applications. We hope you learned about touchscreens through this video. Stay tuned for the next video. This video was inspired by a comment left by a viewer. If you have anything you would like explained, be sure to comment on our latest videos. Thanks for watching.